third DUI for one man will now put him behind bars for 15 years to life after he killed a driver in 2013. And 23 ABC's Ken Masenshi is at the courthouse right now with how the victim's family reacted to that sentencing. Ken? Jackie, two and a half years have passed since Gustavo de la Cruz took the life of Taylor Embry in a DUI car crash. But the emotion of losing a loved one is still raw for the Embry family. And what you can truly say is a real life version of The Walking Dead. It was a chance for raw emotion to be unleashed. I can only hope that Gustavo is provided ample time and opportunity to experience relentless brutality, unforgiving agony, pain and misery that intensifies until he either dies or he feels dead like I do. Whichever comes first is good with me. Anger, sadness, and tears filled the courtroom as several members of Embry's family took the stand to face the man who had two previous DUI convictions and deported twice before driving down Comanche Road near Breckenridge, hitting Embry's car head on, splitting the car in half. But it was the message from Embry's widow, Brittany, that was heartbreaking. Shortly after my son turned four, he started saying that he wants to die so that he can be with his dad. De La Cruz was found guilty of second degree murder and his third DUI last month. He sat emotionless throughout the sentencing. The Embry family is disappointed that De La Cruz could be eligible for parole after 15 years. Oh, I think that he should have went for life or death penalty myself. The De La Cruz family declined to go on camera, but they did say that they were shocked by the amount of hatred that they felt that the Embry family had towards De La Cruz. From the courthouse, Ken Masenchi, 23, ABC.